Matchbox. Silence in the court! But, Your Honor, no one was speaking. Uh, yeah, you're right. Oh, well. Today we're gonna pass sentence on John McGuilty for robbing a jewelry store. Mr. McGuilty, do you wish to say anything before you hear your sentence? I will only speak in the presence of my legal representative. Well, he's sitting right next to you! Ah, well, uh, I'll only speak in the presence of my legal representative and, uh, a top-hatted leprechaun. He's sitting on the other side! Hello there, John McGuilty! Top of the morning to you, you old reprobate! Members of the jury, how do you find the defendant accused of the armed robbery of a jewelry store? Your Honor, the jury, in a unanimous vote, finds the defendant, Mr. McGuilty, to be innocent. Excellent! Mr. McGuilty, you are hereby acquitted of all the charges against you. Just a minute. The jewelry the jury is wearing looks uncannily similar to the articles that you stole. Oh. <laughs> uh. McGuilty, today you really blew it. Not only did you hold up a jewelry store, you also tried to buy off the jury. Do you know how many years in prison you could get for that? Uh. Not at all? No! Uh, uh, a shitload! Therefore, I hereby find uh, you- Uh, one moment, Your Honor. Before you pronounce sentence, may I remind you that in accordance with local custom, today is the state's annual Back to Front Day. Ah, wow. You're absolutely right. And therefore, McGuilty, I find you innocent! Sweet. Although, given the fact that today is our annual Back to Front Day, I declare you guilty! Damn it. Although, given the fact that today is our annual Back to Front Day, I declare you innocent! Sweet. Although, given the fact that today is our annual Back to Front Day, I declare you guilty! Damn. Although, given the fact that today is our annual Back to Front Day,